Welcome back YouTube to day five of my first ever playthrough of Mass Effect 2. In the last video we picked up Archangel which was probably one of my favorite moments in gaming that reveal. I'm so glad I got through that unspoiled. So tonight I'm going to do a couple of assignments some of which were assigned to us by Aria and then we're going to go and pick up the convict uh, who I don't know too much about at the moment other than that their name is Jack. So, thank you for being here, and let's get straight into it. So, we have N7 Lost Operative. A lost Cerberus operative is believed to be held in an eclipse base on planet Lorek. The operative may have sensitive data that, if lost to eclipse, could cause irreparable damage to Cerberus. Okay, so eclipse is one of the gangs on Omega, I believe. Enter the eclipse base on the planet Lorek and rescue the Cerberus operative. We can do that. So I think that means we need to go back to the Normandy, no? Let's go to the Normandy. Woo. So let's have a look at this planet then. Anomaly detected. Oh, here we go, Lorek. Okay, got it. Lorek is an extremely rare example of a habitable world circling a red dwarf star. Launch Pro. Scans have found something. We can land there now, I think. Yes, that's how it works. Okay. All right, who are we bringing? Garrus is always coming out with us now, unfortunately. I think I might bring Miranda out. I feel like it's been a while since Miranda came out with us, so Miranda and Garrus. Let's go. Oh, guns out. Okay, hostile, hostile. This place reminds me of Vermeer. Recover the sto- <laughs> Recover the stolen data and upload it to Cerberus. Here we go. Scratch one. Nice, Garrus. Here we go, everyone. Okay. Okay, they've come back to me, which means we're ready to push forward. Ammunition, ammunition. Holding cell. Aha. I can do this. Oh, yeah. Got some credits. Have a look at the security console. Okay, the Cerberus agent Tyrone Rawlings. Eclipse targeted Rawlings some time ago. We know Rawlings is connected to the encrypted data that we acquired. The data could conclusively prove Cerberus's involvement in Rachni experiments. Oh, okay, I think we do know a bit about this. We believe Rawlings possesses a cipher that can be used to decrypt the data. Without the cipher, the data could take years for Eclipse to decode. In Mass Effect 1, we uncovered some Cerberus testing facilities that were testing on Rachni. So interesting to see how this goes. Subject captured. Okay, he proved difficult to capture, having insinuated him... Is that a word? Insinuated himself on a ship bound for the Attican Traverse. He had won over the loyalty of the ship's crew who believed him to be a human dignitary on a mission of discovery. Our own agents managed to disable the ship and hobble its defenses long enough to extract Rawlings. We lost a lot of men to attain this asset. This data had better be worth the expense. Okay, and now they've interrogated him. The interrogation failed. Okay. Despite some of our most advanced interrogation techniques, Rawlings managed to evade our questions. When we applied more invasive methods, he proved resistant to those as well. My man. Eventually, Rawlings' resistance caused tempers to flare. We consider it unfortunate that Rawlings did not live to pass on the cipher. They killed him? We have men working to decipher the encryption now. As long as we control his data, its mere existence remains a powerful tool against Cerberus. You're dead! Sh <laughs> Holy shit! Take cover! Where's my shotgun? <laughs> I was not ready, I was not ready, I 
was not ready. I shouldn't have done that. I'm learning. Okay, so we've discovered that the guy we came here to save has been killed. Let's see if we can at least get the information back. I gotta bypass the door. Let's go. I failed. Let me just get this. Okay, I did it. Whew. Computer console. Oh, there's a person in there. Oh no, is that the is that the Cerberus dude? if it were ever circulated publicly. Oh. Upload data to the Alliance, which is my old squad. Upload data to Cerberus, which is what they want me to do. Or recover data for myself. Cerberus are bad. I have to remember they're bad. But I do feel like I kind of owe them at the moment. Recover data for yourself is the renegade option right here. Upload to the alliance is the paragon option, which would show that we're still loyal to the old squad. This would probably maybe help the council come around to us a little bit. Recover data for yourself is just plain selfish. Upload data to Cerberus is just straight down the middle. That's what the mission is. I don't know if I do want to be with the alliance anymore. Everybody I know has left the alliance, apart from Captain Dad. You know what? I am just gonna upload the data to Cerberus. Yeah, my heart is telling me go down the middle on this one. I'm I know that's a bit boring, but we're gonna upload the data to Cerberus. Data uploaded to Cerberus command. Oh, it's over. <laughs> okay, I didn't think that would end the mission, and that was it. That was it for a relatively quick one. <laughs> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay, Kelly. Take care of Garrus. Oh, from Nala Butler. Commander Shepard, my husband was one of the men serving on Garrus's team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specifics myself, only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part, and it was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. Oh, my husband would never have wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus's squad. He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd give anything to get him back. But whatever happened there wasn't Garrus's fault. This is so sad. Oh, you're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. And please don't tell him that I sent you this. Thank you from Nala Butler. What the hell? I need to go visit Garrus now. Okay, from Cerberus Command. So this is in relation to the, the quest or the mission we just did. We received the data you found on the Eclipse base. While the death of operative Tyrone Rawlings was regrettable, he died to keep this information out of the hands of those who would do Cerberus harm. By retrieving this data, you have ensured that his death was not in vain. While the subject of the data is known, the contents of the intel are not. We are decrypting the data to find out the nature of the erroneous information being spread about Cerberus. Thanks to you, we can safeguard our already fragile reputation. Well done. Mm. Don't know what I think about that. But now, I mean, we have to go and see Garrus, right? Where are you, my favorite little Turian? With your skinny little waist. There he is. Shepard, need me for something? I just want to talk to have you, you my favorite. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Oh. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Yes. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit, bit more, more kick. kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. He's purring away, as usual. We the guns. Okay, goodbye, Garrus. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Thank you. And I'm here if you need me too. Best friend. Next one is N7 Eclipse Smuggling Depot. An Eclipse Smuggling Depot has been detected on planet D Duratar. Cerberus would pay very good money for any cargo recovered from the site. Okay. 
Hourglass Nebula. So now we want to go over here to the Far Yar system to secure the smuggled cargo. Daratar. Daratar. Start the scanner. So yeah, here's crazy, crazy. Oh, cool. Oh, this could be quite addictive, actually. We're going to land now. Cerberus hotspot detected. It is a suspected eclipse smuggling site. Cerberus is interested in obtaining the materials kept at the site. Okay, last time we brought out Garrison Miranda. This time I feel like we need to bring out Zaid and Kasumi, a little DLC fun. Three points for our veteran. Rips through shields, sure. And then we'll have to keep one point. Kasumi has one point, which is not enough. And Shepard has zero points. Yay! Uh-oh. Mechs. Guns up. Intact crates remaining out of 20. Oh, Lord! Destroying stuff. <laughs> heal, heal, heal. Go, Kasumi, go. Sweet. Nice. Oh my god. How do we save them all? How do I save them? There's so little left. Take cover. Oh, oh, maybe it's good that I have to start that again because so many of them were. I don't know how I do this without without getting them. Okay, we need to bring out the big guns. I think. Oh, well, Zaid and Kasumi are pretty much the the highest level I have. Kasumi is pretty OP. I'm gonna stick to my guns here. I can't skip this. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna try my best though. Kasumi's not a match for the mechs. All right, we'll 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 bring someone else out late next time. They've seen us. This is insane, but I wanna try something. This was silly! This was silly! Kasumi! Okay, that was silly. We will bring... <laughs> Garrus, we need your help, please, sir. I accept that was a bit silly. So my best weapon is probably going to be the Locust. No, actually, my hand cannon is pretty, pretty gnarly. Snipers is not what we need right now, boys. Let's go. Take cover. Oh my god, Zai, what are you doing, you insane man? Oh god. This is insane. This is insane. Okay, one done. Let's go. This is insane! Let me take cover! Garrus! Oh god, ammo! 
Jesus, I've no ammo. Oh, nice one. Whoa. Okay, are we done? Press B to end the mission. We saved 11. Is that good? I think I could do better. Okay, I'm happy with 11 out of 20. It's better than 50%, right? We have a little Mako. We did not so bad. GG, GG. All right. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. Nice work. We knew Eclipse was hiding valuable cargo on Daratar, but we couldn't land without fear of their mechs destroying the crates. We've wired the credits into your account. Damn glad to have you with us, Shepard. Does he know that I let nine of them get destroyed? Let's go catch up with some of the team. First, we will go to the front of the ship and speak with our old pal, Joker. These two usually have something to say. I'm quiet today, though. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here. This thing wants to fire me over a joke. Uh oh. Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but uh -oh. I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. These then two. Why? why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. Aww. Edie manipulated him. Edie, were you intentionally egging him on? What part of your programming covers that? Nothing in the restrictions imposed upon me forbids active observation techniques. Mr. Moreau's performance She's actually learning. improved under duress. I never figured the coming overlords would be so annoying. I'm just... I'm done. Aww. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Goodbye, Joker. Now, who lives in here? I can't remember. Ah, this is a weapons locker area. Jacob! Come no out. flirting. Come no flirting, uh, everyone. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? Like I said, if we don't upgrade the hull on this boat, people will die. I have some Lion's favors I can call in if you have the resources. <laughs> That's the biggest custard pie in gaming ever. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we can upgrade. I mean, I have no idea. Armor, we can do that? Sure, do that. We did tech damage. Receive squad bonus plus 10% tech power. Sure, I hate upgrading. Let's go speak to Morden. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not now. Working on collector Nobody data. Nobody wants to speak to me. Have ruled out artificially intelligent virus, unless it's very intelligent and toying with me. Hmm. Tests. Anything else? No. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Yeah. Whatever. Kelly, got anything to chat about? How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries look painful. Aww. I worry about him. He's been through a lot, not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper. Kelly? He'll be all right. Are you into aliens? <laughs> Leave him alone. I feel the same way, girl. Oh my God. I feel the same way. I know exactly what you mean. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. I'm going to leave the assignments for now and we're going to have a look at the missions. And I think it's time we go and find the convict. So Jack, no last name known, is an exceptional biotic ability, has a criminal background, but is currently in custody. Jack is rumored to be the most powerful human biotic ever encountered. Very little additional data regarding Jack is available, except that the subject has a history of violence and should be approached carefully. Currently, Jack is being held on the Turian prison ship Purgatory, Cerberus has negotiated for the prisoner's release. Go to the prison ship Purgatory and pick up the convict. All right, that's our job. Sounds like a cool dude. I love a man who's into his biotics. We remember. <laughs> okay, prison ship Purgatory. Let's go. As if they have a prison ship owned by the notorious Blue Suns Mercenary Company, the Purgatory was once an Ark ship used to hold agricultural animals. Now it is used to hold prisoners 
whether taken in battle or sold by an unscrupulous politician under the name of subcontracting and outsourcing. Rumours abound that the Blue Sons turned skilled or fit prisoners over to Batarian slavers, but few have ever seen the transaction and lived to tell about it. Its population is listed at 4,350, but independent journalists estimate it is nearly three times that in periods of overcrowding. Am I right in saying that Zaid founded the Blue Suns alongside that other guy that we killed? I always want to bring um, Zaid with me on the ones that are like to do with the Blue Suns. But yes, let's dock on the prison ship Purgatory. So we need to bring Zaid because he is Daddy Blue Sun. And then why don't we bring Jacob? Because Jacob hasn't had a run out in a wee while. I like to, you know, make sure we've got a good rotation of the teammates. Also, I never use the flamethrower that I have equipped, so we need to swap that for the grenade launcher. Hell yeah. Oh, great music, here we go. We're here to capture the convict. You can pass him over quietly, without protest, or we can come in guns blazing and take him. It is up to you. It is entirely up to you. Let's talk. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. Oh, good. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish no. your weapons before we proceed. No. Go to hell. I'll relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? <gasps> oh. Everyone stand down. Girl. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons Kirill. will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. The way she snarled when she delivered that line is unbelievable and sexy. So Kurl wants us to hand over the weapons. I'm going to continue with my sassy answers and say it's not going to happen, Turian. I'm not surrendering my gun, period. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. <laughs> We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. We have to pay if for him? Follow me to our processing for the pickup commander. Let's go. Yeah, the options being no or hell no. That was so iconic. <laughs> Cell block two. As you can see, wow. we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. Oh, wow. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. 30? We have Oh, okay, cell blocks. Criminals. Okay, got it. So everyone's in their own little pods. We can put wow. the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. I love the way the Turians kind of look like their skin it almost looks like a tree or like a rock. Okay, tell us about Jack. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest, meanest handful, handful of violence, of violence and hate. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. Why we'll are we recruiting enough. this guy? I don't know if I want to be on a sh You know, can we trust this dude? How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. You're not hiring the right ones. Go on, Zaid, Eventually, tell him. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. So it's a principle do this because you think it's necessary every day i see the worst sapient life has to offer governments are soft unwilling to make the hard choices someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap we can cut corners that governments can't and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world oh, these I individuals see. are violent and their home planets pay well to keep them here really and what happens if they don't pay what happens if the home world doesn't want to pay we explain Dead. that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced oh, to release okay. him back so it's onto like his a home threat. at an unspecified place and time. You pay for us to keep a, you don't have keep to a hold of them, methods, or we'll release them back bullets. onto your planet. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. All right, let's keep moving. Let's get on with this. Anyone ever tried to escape? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. Yeah. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. Whoa. 
We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. I'm nervous. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Okay. Follow the corridor to outprocessing where Curl's men are waiting with Jack. I've got my boys with me. Come on, I'm scared. Plus four renegade. Uh oh. Can we talk? No one walks <gasps> away from torture unchanged. Not the subject, not the torturer himself. Never found torture worth the price myself. I think it was right to bring Zaid here. Is there something I can do for you? Is this necessary? <laughs> That's justice. <laughs> That's justice. There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. Massage? This is beneath you. You're doing the right thing. I told you to stop. This is beneath you, guard. This degrades you as much as him. Mm -hmm. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Okay, we got some Paragon points there. That's sad. I know, I don't know what the guy did. No, I don't know, you know, that's tough. Hey, hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. Oh God. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what, what you do What did you do? Me. Tell me the truth. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Sorry. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. What the fuck? What do you know about Jack? Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. What? Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes. Your pride. Your pride. Whoa! I haven't taken a shower in three months. Gross. What did he do? So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Okay. Only about 20 or so. Oh, okay. That's that more than a few. <laughs> small time compared to most of the guys here. You're just a small time murderer. All right, all right, all right. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. Bimmy. He offed someone in the showers <gasps> yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Yeah. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. Oh. So they rotate him through. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Yeah, they didn't seem Sometimes too... Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own. Right, you okay. Understand? Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Yeah, I was thinking, they seemed to kind of casually let us on this ship to buy someone. It, it didn't seem like an, a, a normal thing to do. I should go. Wish I could go. Oh, maybe you shouldn't have killed all those people. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. These people are disturbed. Where am now I? Processing is through the door on the far side of the room. Well, what's down here first then? This is the Supermax wing. It's Ooh. off limits. Now processing is back down the hall on your right. I want to go They'll in Supermax. There after the cryothaw is finished. He's in cryothaw. What the hell? Okay, so our man Jack is being thawed out. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. What? What? Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. What? You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Holy Watch your back. Whoa, nice headshot. Yeah. <laughs> they have dogs. It's a trap. 
Arseholes. Why have they done this? Sit down. We need to go through max tack, I think. Let's get Jack out of the freezer. Yeah, come on, Jack. We got company. Get over here. Voila! Who's the biotic? Saeed, like, that was so crazy. Oh, it's heavy fire! Going. Push forward through Max Tack. Shepard is on the loose. Shepard is on the loose. You should not have crossed me. Now you all die, and all these prisoners have nobody to look after them. You have made a very, very big mistake. Where are you, Jack? Shepard, if you hack that control, every door in the cell block opens. Let them open. It's the only way. I'm doing it. Be ready. Holy shit! Let them all out. Come on, Jack. Is this Wait, Jack? That's Jack. Kill her. Let's move. Oh, we need to help her. Quick, quick, quick. I mean, I don't know Warning. if she does need our help. Warning. What the hell was that? Jack! Jack, we're here to help. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's like so mean. That's interesting. She's just absolutely torn away through this building. All guards, restore order. Lethal force authorized. But don't kill Jack! Lockdown, we need lockdown. Jack. Sector 7, 9, and 11 have lost life support. No survivors. No survivors. Jack, come with us. We're going to help you. Girl, I was expecting to pick up a man. I'm so happy. Okay, okay, okay. Human prisoners are getting killed. We need to find, oh God, the mechs, oh, the mechs. Get out of the way. Move, you're in the wrong area. Oh God, oh God. We need to find Jack. Jack's guard got swarmed by prisoners with improvised weapons. We never had a chance. Lockdown in blocks four, seven, and eight. Dead prison guards. Oh Lord. Let's move forward. Come on, Jacob. In sectors 12, 14, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. No survivors. No survivors. Oh. We got him. All right, let's move forward, everyone. Whoa. Oh no, another mech. gonna die there god that was kind of tough i need to find somewhere to hide 
I hear someone screaming. What is that? <laughs> Whoever did that, that was iconic. Okay, grenade launcher. Nice. Now get just get to cover. To cover. Heal up. Zaid okay? Jacob okay? We're all okay. I hope Jack is safe wherever she's got to. It didn't look like she needed any of our help, but we need to find her and help her. And hopefully she will be friends with us. I've got her. <laughs> Who did that? Let's equip my shotgun and do some charging fun. We haven't done that yet. They're all looking for Jack. I'm looking for Jack. We're gonna find Jack first. Let's go. All guards to cell block one. All guards to cell block one. That means Jack must be in cell block one, causing absolute mayhem when I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> Who's that? The Turian You're guy? You're valuable, Shepard. Cool. I could have sold you and lived like a king. Yeah, well. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. Oh, I love her voice so much. I do the so hard much. things civil governments are unwilling so to. So much. This is for the good of the galaxy. I hate to kill another Tyrion. Can I shoot this thing? Coming. Okay, we gotta shoot the shield generators, boys. Save Jack. Got the warden. Ooh. Jack, we're gonna help you. We're here to help. We're here to help. Please. Stop. <laughs> we're here to help. We're here to help. Oh my God, her little teeth. Oh. Sh We're here to help, please be friends. Be friends, be friends, be friends. What the hell do you want? You're welcome. I just saved your ass. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? We're gonna rescue her. You're in a bad situation and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. Ah! I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. So what? Why does it matter if I'm with Cerberus? They've been on my ass for years. Anytime I get free, they put a huge bounty Because we need your me. help, girl. That's why Look Warden Kuro figured he struck are. gold when he caught me. It isn't working out too well for him. Being my enemy is unhealthy. 
That's so cold. I'm offering to be your friend. You don't want to be my enemy. Listen to Shepard. It'll save your life. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? Yes! <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell her she's stupid because I want to be friends with Jack because she's cool. The ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety and we're asking for your help. Could just knock her out, Commander. No. I'd like to see you try. Maybe we should. No, I'm going to say no. You're coming willingly. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. What do you want? Tell me what you're thinking. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. Bluff and say okay? Or just say yes? I mean, I don't care if she wants to look through the Cerberus databases. I don't think I personally can authorize that, but sure. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Come on, Jack. She's got a big scar on her neck. <gasps> we got her. We got her, everyone. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. You can wait. I'm gonna, no, I want, I really do want Jack to be my friend, so I'm gonna try and stay on their good side. Give her the files now, Miranda. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. The outfit Keep is your people off me. insane, that but way. I love it. Yeah, all the companions, they've done a really good job of the companions. I think, especially considering how strong the squad was in Mass Effect 1, you would think it would be hard to, like, fall in love with new characters, but they've done a really good job at weaving them into the story and making me care about them after not so much time. Jack and Zaid are on the engineering deck. We can catch up with them and also uh, the engineers. Let's see what the engineers are up to. He's actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all right. haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. Engineer Donnelly romance when? First of all, we'll go and speak to Zaid. Back for another lesson. Yeah, tell me some more stories, please, old man. Jack. Subject Zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch <gasps> like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMC. Destructive little bitch. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. So you knew Archangel from before? Yes, I did. Interesting. Garrus. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. He's one tough son of a bitch. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Oh, yeah. That's a model of the Varrican. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I let a mission Varrican. to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success. But we did it. Everyone died. Bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Zai's so badass, man. No, Jack must be downstairs somewhere, I guess. She said she likes to go somewhere quiet. There's Jack. Hey. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. I'm glad they're helping, friend. They're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. No, we're gonna Your be buddies. Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. 
What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed oh. with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. I'm fine with you doing that, to be honest. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a oh. kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm going to chase them. You sound excited. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. Oh, what? That's so it. cool. It's like Phantom Liberty. Everyone I kill, I pretend Why it's the ones that did this to me. Awesome. Good for her. Exactly. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. <gasps> Whoa. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a queen. I could help. My mission is too important, Jack. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. We'll save the world, then we'll be pirates. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. You enjoy it. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. Okay. I should go. Yep. I like Jack a lot. I like Jack a lot, a lot. I hope we can be friends. We can save the world and then we'll go off and be pirates, okay? I don't think anyone's in here. These guys kind of have What's conversations wrong? sometimes. I lost contact with New Camp. Oh no. Might be the collectors. Did your family get out of there? I don't know. There's no communications yet. I'm sure they're safe. Y you'll see. We overhear a lot of conversations between the crew of other planets' inhabitants going missing. It's quite sad. Kasumi? There you are. It's me. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. No, please don't thievery things. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office. Other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. It is. It's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Oh. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. Oh, she thinks the engineers are in love. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Oh, I like Kasumi a lot. She's telling, up, you know, updating me on the gossip. Oh, these are my quarters. I came to the. Oh, I need to feed the fish. Holy sh! Nobody reminded me. Are they dead? I. How often do they need to be fed? What about my space hamster? The hamster's okay. Somehow it feeds itself. My little photo of Kaden. When are we gonna see him again? I feel guilty. I'm supposed to be a good fish owner and they died. They all died. You haven't played Mass Effect until you've killed your fish. All right, well, now I'm a real Mass Effect player. Oh, I didn't mean Jack's to speak to Kelly, but... As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. She's okay. She's crazy. What do you mean? You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. Yeah. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. How does Kelly know this shit about everyone? Her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. Kelly? Kelly seems to know everybody's business when they've been on board for less than 10 minutes. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. <laughs> anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. I kind of love Kelly. Why, why does she know this shit? It's hilarious. Okay, Shepard, glad you're back, but keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? Quiet enough. I... What the... Trouble? No, it's <laughs> nothing. I... Son of a... 
Very <laughs> funny, Edie. Real original. Stop it. You did insist on manual control, Mr. Moreau. They're having so much fun together. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Let me speak one more time to Kelly. How may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Girl. What do you do? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yeah, tell yes, me. but being your yeoman is just my yeoman. official role. Unofficially, I observe ah, the crew. Okay. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. Okay, this is all making tasked. sense. We don't tell our secrets to Kelly, exactly. <laughs> You're a counselor. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes, I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Well, it's good you're here. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? That's it. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Interesting. No I messages. like Kelly a lot. I like her a lot. She's a great addition to the crew. So, on the next stream, we'll be going to collect Dr. Oak here, who is the Warlord, and the last of our dossier missions. Alongside that, we'll do a couple more assignments and see what else the game unlocks for us.